What's going on, everybody? This is Elder Jacoby Owens coming to you Wednesday, November 11th. Full quick word on Wednesday. Scripture we're going to be coming from today is going to be King 17. And then we're going to jump over to St. Luke chapter 21. Now, we visited um, 1 Kings 17 before. And these particular verses we visited it we visited before too, but we're going to go over this part again because it's been on my heart. It's been in my mind. Luke 17, starting at verse eight, excuse me. And the word of the Lord came unto him saying, arise, get thee to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon and dwell there. Behold, I've commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks and he called to her and said fetch me i pray thee a little water in a vessel that i may drink and she and as she was going to fetch it he called to her and said bring me i pray thee a morsel of bread in thine hand and she said as the lord thy god liveth i have not a cake but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise and behold i am gathering two sticks that i may go in and dress it for me and my son that we may eat it and die all right. And then we're going to jump over to St. Luke chapter 21. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said of a truth, I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury hath cast in all the living she had. And right, we'll stop right there. There's a couple things I just want to point out here. Um, Ovin Kings, you know, uh, in verse, where was it? In verse 9, when the Lord said, you know, look, I've commanded a widow woman to provide for you uh to sustain you there and um when elijah gets there he asks the widow woman you know hey hook me up with uh give me uh, some some uh water and while she was on her way to go do what he had asked her to do he's like look uh by the way get me some a morsel of bread or whatever and so she turned she was gonna do it but she was letting him know like look i don't have water i have oil and we went over to oil for the drinking, and and I have uh, this meal that I that I can that I can make or whatever. And um, she also told him that, you know, the way she said, I'm and I'm gathering these two sticks for me and my son, so we can eat it and die. Now, she was going to be obedient unto God unto death because she didn't have a a thought of well, not she didn't have a thought. She wasn't going to take the last little bit that she had. That was preserved for the man of God. You know, God likely asked her when she was down to little to nothing anyway, right? So she's holding on to that little bit because she knew that she had to provide for the man of God. So that's why she was gathering the sticks. So I'm going to make these sticks so me and, me and, me and my prepared sticks so me and my son can die. She's going to be obedient unto death. But what she did is she gave of her last little bit, you know what I mean? Her all, but it was her last little bit at the same time, you know, and that she was going to give to the man of God. And we know through the rest of the story in 1 Kings 17 that God provided for this woman. God, he uh, made sure that that gift that she gave just kept on giving, you know, and it wound up being a blessing to her. For even having the mindset of being obedient unto death. All right? But then I'm jumping over here to Luke 21. And it's basically the same thing. Because you know Jesus pointed out that the rich men are given of their abundance. They're not hurting. They're not lacking anything when they do this. But this poor widow woman is giving her two mites. That is all of her living. Her two mites. You know and... Uh, the scripture doesn't talk about what happened with the widow woman. It doesn't talk about how the Lord provided for this widow woman. But can we not trust and be assured that God did?
did provide for this widow woman. You know what I mean? She gave her her two mites of her living of of her. She gave the little bit. She gave a little bit. It was a little bit to everybody around her, but to her it was everything. It's all that she had. You know, um, and she she provided it. She gave it to the offering of God. Now I know some people are against offering, against tithing, or whatever. That's a, that's a personal thing that that has to be worked out. But that's something that God has commanded of us, right? But even even more so, when we're talking about giving a little bit or giving a lot to God, I used to get caught up in this trap where if my prayer time, I, if, if the the day goes crazy and work goes crazy, and then uh, you don't get to do the amount of prayer time or, or, or fellowship time with the Lord that you had originally intended on doing, you wind up not doing it because it's like, well, why am I going to give this little bit to God? You know what I mean? When He deserves this, which He does, mind you, not selling the show for anything. When He He deserves, I, I should give Him two hours. I should give Him an hour, but the, the day happened and um, I only got five minutes to give, so I'm not even going to give that five minutes. I, I might as well just not even, I might as well just go to sleep. I might as well do whatever for this five minutes. I'm not going to give it. You know what I mean? But yet and still, these two widow women, out of their little bit, gave to God and they still received a blessing. You know, it's not to not to excuse anything away saying that, oh, I can just fill my day with junk and then only give God two, three minutes, four, five minutes. You know what I mean? But so, sometimes things happen and we are, we're in a place where, look, I might only have this five minutes where I can get some real focus time in and, and, and get some um, quality time in with God. You know what I mean? Because we're all trapped in this system where we have to work, we have to do this, we have to do that. You know what I mean? And then when we don't, we're not at work, then we're trying to spend time with the family, do stuff with the kids. And, uh, and of course, God is priority, but you have to take care of your family as well. So it just it just backs you into a corner. You know what I mean? But all of that to say and sharing these two scriptures to say that uh, it's, a, it's been a blessing to me because it just it's just a reminder of no matter how much time we have is what do we do with that time? Is it is it a quality five minutes? Or is it a quality hour? Is it a quality two hours? You know, it's about the quality over quantity is what somebody used to always tell me. All right. But um, prayerfully, these scriptures have been a blessing to you as they've been a blessing to me. Um, prayerfully to get you to have a Bible study of your own, uh, asking the right questions. And uh, maybe you can take the scripture a little bit further than what I took it here. All right. But uh, remember, Monday to Monday, prayer Tuesday, testimony Tuesday. If you have a prayer request or a testimony, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email at jacodio at gmail.com. All right. And until next time, be blessed.